I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. These are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? So this was it? Where you were born. But, but why? These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. Painted on. How long did they live here? I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave and you will learn. run, jump, and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. 
You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. Someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, Father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They were trapped here. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Plant for identiscan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So... What was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline. You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and probability. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today, hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Control for Dr. Please get message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. This admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis. The fate of life on Earth 
will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. Oh, Aunt Elizabeth, this is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them. In place, it, they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. But it... Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Interesting. Aloy, forgive! Forgive! The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. 
What did she say? That uh, I, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. All praise Aloy, Aloy. No, anointed no, 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 of the Nora. Up. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy. Anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way make for Aloy! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh... Thank you. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story. Why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh. Yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids. A band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Nora Braves couldn't stop twelve Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? 
It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a brave came within bowshot, the outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the Braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I... I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with All Mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But... Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was... delirious. In agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo. And reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost never finished his mission? To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. 
Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. <sighs> he certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear sir, that's, that's quite a story. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years, and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. You bless us all. You have risen higher than any Nora. My life has been long, but I've never seen anything like that. Tirsa was right. A blessing, not a curse. We were so unsure. I will lead a war party to Meridian. Aloy, how did you do that? Shush, Alana. She's the anointed. We still stand. The killers will be forgotten. We'll go to Meridian, Aloy. I'll bring Mother's spear. Arana. Your father is right. You belong here. You both do. The anointed will make the murderers pay for what they have done. Anointed. I misread the signs. Forgive! I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. The goddess speaks through you, anointed. In all my years, I have never seen anything like that. You bless us all. To have heard the words of the goddess. I envy you, anointed. Our fallen tribes... Aloy. I don't know what to say. Say that you'll see me at Meridian. Of course. That much is simple. But the rest... Complicated. I know. But maybe if I took you into the heart of the mountain... No. At least, not yet. I don't know. Please don't think less of me, Aloy. But the goddess chose you to see that. Not me. Right. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? It was Tip Lands. Tear says. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Don't. My body. I'll be on my way then. I always knew you weren't like other Nora. Neither are you, Varl. Maybe, if we survive all this, I can show you what I've learned, what I'm learning. Perhaps, if the goddess so wills it. See you in Meridian. There. Blessings upon you. The tribe I served is gone. Soon I will be too. The Nora have lost too many, Rush. But in your case, I guess they can lose one more. Mm. 
Aloy, did you go inside the mountain? You saw what happened. <laughs> Actually, can't see so well down here on the ground. Just as all mother struck down the Metal King, her anointed will cleanse the land of corruption. Oh, anointed, you are here. Um, right here in front of me. Hello. I feel the touch of the goddess just speaking to you. The goddess protects, Aloy. Pray for me, Aloy. She will protect From your us. Lips. She is our anointed. I am humbled to be in your presence. The goddess protects Aloy. It is an honor. It was you. You killed the demons and the bad men. Oh, anointed, here you are. Um, Blessings right here, upon you. in front of me. Hello. And was anointed by the goddess herself. 